In this video, I want to show a quick troubleshooting tip that can help in a specific circumstance with UV maps. I experienced an issue where I was trying to unfold a given UV island here in the Retopo workspace in the UV section. I noticed that when I unwrap, I'm getting this. It's acting as if I don't have a UV seam. If I were to select that UV island and then choose 2GU, then it unfolds properly. So this is telling me that there is some kind of an issue with the mesh. Also, I can see here at the tip of the trunk that I have an issue here as well. So when I unfolded the trunk, it created some kind of an issue here. So I'll click 2GU as well, and now it's created this vicious cycle of going back and forth. So how do we fix this? When you get these types of problems, it's really an indication of a mesh issue. So let's go ahead and control click that to deselect it. And I'm going to examine the mesh here. It usually will revolve around the symmetry line because that's where most of the problems happen. The reason for this is when you have symmetry enabled, it will try to snap or weld vertices within a given radius of this symmetry line. The default is 40, and if I turn that up a bit, yeah, we'll be closer to 40. Sometimes that may be a bit too much, so you may have to reduce it. But I can see that there are some issues here. And that again, that will cause problems with your UVs. So what we need to do is weld those. And there are a couple ways that we can do this. In 3D Coat 2021, we have the ability to select an edge loop, convert it to vertices, and then weld within a certain radius. Going to toggle symmetry off for the moment. One way I can handle this is go back up to the tweak section under move weld and let's switch to vertices. I'm going to right click and drag to the right to increase my brush size, but not too much because I don't want to necessarily select other vertices that I don't intend to. So all we need to do is just click and drag over the vertices that we want to weld to. Okay. Also, if you're not sure, if you have overlapping verts, you can just wiggle them or just touch them, and 3D Coat will automatically weld those. So really all you have to do is just tap, tap, tap. Okay? So you can see here. Uh, it's not close enough, so tapping won't really help me there. But I think we have something here. So yeah, there it goes. So really that's all you have to do is just tap to weld. You don't really have to move. Usually it's visible whether or not you have overlapping verts, but sometimes maybe not. We tried that technique, but let me try another one. As I mentioned, we can go to the Select tool, and I would highly recommend using your presets. You can go to Windows under Panels, and go to Presets, and then just dock that in your UI. So your most commonly used tools are right here at your fingertips. You can select one of the tools from the tool panel and then add it to your presets panel. With the select tool active, I'll choose edges mode. So I'll go over here, just pick one of these. If your brush is too large, you can use your bracket keys like you would in Photoshop to reduce it so it doesn't multi-select other edges. And let's hold down the shift key so it will select entire edge loops. Just left mouse clicking on an edge will select an entire edge loop, but once in a while it may stop, especially if it finds overlapping vertices like we have here. Let's shift click again. Okay. So, yeah. Now, what I want to do is switch back to vertices, right click, and choose weld vertices. The default amount is probably a bit much in this case. We want to reduce that by dragging the slider. And two will be about right. I can see a preview also that's going to weld those two. Now, if we're happy with that, we'll click OK. I think that fixed it. 
Don't see any other issues. And I can do the same on the back side just to make sure uh, that I don't have anything here as well. So again, let's go to edges. Shift click. Okay, everything looks good. Switch to vertices, right click, weld vertices. It's going to remember the last settings that we had. I'll click OK. So we know that part of the mesh should be good to go. Now I want to check this section here as well. So we'll do the same. Edges mode. I think symmetry probably welded all these vertices together and that may not have been what I wanted. I'll now choose the delete edges tool and switch to symmetry first before I delete those edges. Okay. And then split rings. Let's come over here to this side. There we go. And um, add and split. To finish this off. Connect those. Hit escape. Because it's wanting to continue. Uh, click and click. Now I hit escape. So we're done. Turn symmetry off for the moment. And we'll go back to the select tool. In edges mode. Shift click. See that that tells me there's an overlapping vert there, probably. Okay. So again, go back to vertices, right click, choose weld vertices. Yeah, see there? See how it's showing me there was an overlapping vert there? Okay, so we have fixed our mesh issues now, and all we have to do at this point is either unwrap the individual islands that we want to correct or unwrap the entire thing. In this case, I will probably just unwrap these two items here by selecting them and clicking 2G for Global Uniform Unwrapping. So that's good, and I no longer see the same issue that I had before with those stretched polygons. So that indeed fixed the issue, and we are now good to go. So I hope you found this troubleshooting tip helpful. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.